madness. It's madness. It's Sparta. Hey, sorry about Hey, hey. Whoa. People everywhere. All over. Morty with the camera. Uh, we're the Start Science uh, Project Club. We do uh, science projects with kids at local public schools. And uh, we, it's both Wilf and uh, Baron students. Uh, we go a few times, each person probably goes a few times a semester, and there's a bunch of them usually on a Friday. And we just do science projects with these kids. It's a lot of fun. They get to learn a lot about it. It's a really great time. So community work in science. Yeah. Wow. Pretty much. That's great. Yeah, it's great. Great to meet you, man. Great to meet you. This is Nate President of the Club, by the way. Gilad. President Gilad. I wanna, I wanna talk to the psychology club. Uh, Mr. Shiner, how are you doing? Mr. Chevalian. Very good. Why don't you tell our viewers about the psychology club? Uh, so basically, the psychology club is a club that promotes um, people that are in the psychology, uh, that are in the psychology major, um, different careers they can go into, what they can do, um, grad school wise, how to get into grad school. Uh, basically, we have movie nights, just general fun stuff about psychology. Wow, so if you have any interest in psychology or if you're living your life for psychology, this is the club for you. That's the thing. Great, Eli. You're so enthusiastic. Do you want to say anything to our, to our viewers from, from the heart? Welcome first time students. Uh, get involved, do something fun, and have fun at YU. Fantastic, Morty. We are, we are moving. We're cruising. Yeah, my name is Daniel Seinberg, and I'm one of the partners in the Jacob Hack Pre-Law Society. We're a club about pre-law, I guess, and we do two primary types of events. One of them where we have law students come and tell us about their experience as a law student, and then a second series of events where we have partners and associates, other types of current law, I guess, lawyers come and speak about what they do in their day-to-day -day life. So is this a society for only pre-law students? It's intended for pre-law students, but we're pretty open. If you want and you're interested in these types of events, you could definitely join as well. USRP stand for? USRP stands for Undergraduate Student Research Presentations. What we do is we basically help coordinate scientific research here at YU. Every few weeks we organize student, we organize student and faculty presentations where student researchers here and faculty members present you know, their research findings and what they've been doing in their labs to the university audience. We also maintain a website with links and host an info session where we help people find research here at YU and positions at other universities during the summer via the undergraduate programs that are available to us. We also at the end of the year have a poster session where all the YU student researchers, about 50 or 60 in total, present their research in the public and they have their big posters and everything and from all subjects. We have biology, chemistry, physics, computer science, mathematics, and psychology. Wow, so you just cover all the bases in your research positions, you get to meet professors. It sounds like a really fantastic program. We're the go-to if you want to get in with a professor here at YU. I hear something. The Y studs. Hi there. How you doing? My name is Ben Shiner. What's Morty. your name? Mordecai Smith. And you are representing the Yeshiva University Medical Ethics Society, is that correct? I am indeed, yes. What would you like to tell our viewers about the Yeshiva University Medical Ethics Society? Yeshiva University Medical Ethics Society is a fantastic society. Um, we, be, we are running events throughout the year on the interface between medicine, halacha, and ethics, secular ethics if you will. Um, we really love the discourse and we'd like to discuss the discourse between how everybody feels ethical issues that we have arising on a medical basis. It's not restricted to pre-med students. It really is for everybody. Um, confronting people faced with you know medical issues that we're all going to eventually be exposed to at some point and say what are your feelings toward this? More importantly what is Halacha's feelings toward this? Um, we are actually running a conference October 21st um, titled Out of the Ashes. Um, it's going to be discussing medicine and the Holocaust. Um, we're going to be discussing medical issues that arose during the Holocaust that are still relevant today. Human experimentation. Um, we're going to be bringing Dr. Pelkowitz to discuss what's called transgenital trauma which is going to be first second, third generation of survivors, there's still trauma that have continued through the ages, you know, regarding that. Um, that's only our conference. We run events throughout the year. We bring in speakers. We've discussed fertility, end of life, beginning of life. Um, Jewish genetics is a rising field, we, you know, we're going to discuss. We always have an Einstein Shabbaton that we bring in throughout the year. Um, the month of February, we have BAM, Bone Awareness Month. We swap people for bone marrow awareness. 
we've actually swapped. We've had 40 matches already at this point. Um, and we really love to have student involvement. We're running a new initiative called the Bioethics Journal Club, in which students come, present a bioethics journal, and we have a, we have a discussion for about a half an hour. What are people's reaction towards it? You know, we're students. We're not getting a halakhic sack, but we want to have a discourse about it. Um, obviously, everybody's from somewhere else. It was a great conversation, great discussion. Right, so this is this is the university for this club. I mean, you got halakha, you have ethics, you have science. It's, it doesn't matter if you're a biology or a chemistry major. It's for everyone, and you guys are covering all the semesters. It's really a fantastic and, society. And we really have the greatest network for it. We have access to people such as Rav Willig, Rav Schachter, Rav Tendler, who's a leading, per, you know, is a leading figure in this field. Um, we have we have a connection through Einstein, people can, you know, experts through there. Um, we really have developed over the years connections and network to really bring in the best of the best and talk to the students. And David Bodner and the gang. <laughs>